So this is going to be part 3 of our CQRS application with Axon Framework and today we are going to be setting up the commands and I would like us to work with 3 commands. Actually we can have more than 3 commands. A command represents an intention to perform a particular action. For instance, when I click on create other command and you, and you confirm the order, what is going to happen is that a create other command is going to be executed. And once this command executes, we also need another command that actually will update the stock and that will be called update stock command. We also may need a command to add a product. We may need a command to also add a, a to also um, um, uh, maybe delete a product and a whole lot of commands. But for now, let's just focus on three commands because uh, I want to keep it very simple. So let's go to create this command. And these commands, I would like to create them right inside the the. I like to create them right inside the API folder. So here, I'm going to create a new uh, Kotlin file. Again, you need to know about Kotlin file. Kotlin is actually uh, uh, makes it easy to write uh, classes in a very short form, in a concise manner. So in this case, we call it data classes, and it can actually save you a whole lot of typing. So let's create, uh, let me create a new file. I'm going to call it, um, I'm going to call it commands. So new Kotlin file, and I'm going to call it commands.kt, commands.kt. So all the commands that we are going to be using in this application will be inside this file. Um, so I can actually configure. So just click on configure and say, configure Java with Maven and all modules is okay and just say okay and that is fine it's going to actually recognize the uh, Kotlin by adding the necessary dependency in your pom.xml file so let's just think it was this was more this was uh, it completed and I'm going to uh, just save everything and go back here okay it's taking some time to download the dependencies and the Java files to the class part Alright, I think the configuration is complete. So we actually need uh, three commands. We have a data class. We're going, we are going to call, call it create other command to reflect the name of what this command, the operation this command is going to perform. So create other command. So actually to save time, I'm going to just copy and paste because by now you already know uh, what it means. So a create other command will create a new order using the data it has. So in this case, we have uh, the other ID, the price, the number, uh, the number of items being ordered, and also the product ID. Now we also need to specify the target aggregate identifier to indicate the particular aggregate where uh, this that is targeted by this command. So in this case, we have the other ID, which represents the ID of the particular aggregate being targeted. We also need another command, which is the add product command. So let me, for you, I'll recommend you actually type these things out yourself, uh, because the more you, you, you do it, uh, it becomes clearer to you. So for me, I'm simply going to copy and paste just to save the time. So I'm going to copy the add product command. Again, any command is, it need to be, need to specify the target aggregate ID and that is using the annotation target aggregate identifier and that is going to be uh, ID. Now this IDs, for some reason, Axon Framework specifies that the IDs has to be string. So that is why we see the IDs are string here. But there is something I would like to mention. Uh, now I'm using string, but I like to use UUID. UUID, I think this means univers universal unique identifier. So I'm going to just import it. So you can actually use string. Uh, let me see. Maybe we can use it for the pro. Uh, okay, this is create order command. Uh, so let me use it for the order because there will be a whole lot of orders being made. So there is no need of tracking the IDs yourself. Just allow the system to generate the UUIDs. 
but in case of products you can actually uh, uh, also use UID or you can use string as well so we have the final class which is the update stock which is also a command so I'm going to simply copy it and paste it right here again we have the target aggregate identifier targets a particular stock or a particular product to update so this ID is the ID of the particular product to update so I'm going to save everything and then we work on the events so I'm going to work on the events now an event is simply a notification that an operation has been performed so once you have a command there is there must be also corresponding events so I'm going to put all the events in a Kotlin file as well I'm going to call this file events.kt and now the naming of your files is really very important because it makes your code very very readable and you'll not have problem modifying it or coming back to understand what is happening so as I mentioned before all the commands must have a corresponding event because a command will actually trigger an event that a command has been executed so basically in the Axon framework or CQRS um, uh, architecture or, kind, or a CQRS style when a command is executed it emits an event to tell other components or services that something has actually changed and they all, they'll be able to maybe make some updates in the other services so in this case we have order created so you can see that the names of the of the of the events are in past tense meaning that it's not defined that uh, something or an operation has been performed okay all right so we have this order created events let's see um, so I'm going to copy this and paste it right here that is fine so basically it's exactly the same as the the commands except that in case of events you don't need to specify the target aggregate identifier because you are simply notifying a, a, an occurrence of an event so we also need uh, a data class of product added product added events so that's the name and again i'm going to simply also copy and paste as i say you need to actually type it out yourself i recommend that and finally we have stock updated events all right take note that when we are updating the stock updating the stock we need uh, the id of the products when the stock is being updated we need to specify the id of the particular product that was updated and we have the other ID has to be a UUID so uh, that is what, what I recommend you need to use UUID for the other because this is something that uh, it has to be made frequently so you don't need to uh, manually track the others being placed so this is how we complete uh, specifying the event and the command so I'm going to save everything so this is one thing you need to do the first time in an a CQRS architecture or CQRS style of programming uh, you need to first determine your event and your commands and that is what I just did right now the nice part we are going to be going into is to build up the read and write models and that I'm going to do in the nice part I'd like to rem remind you to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed and also feel free to let me know if you have any challenges whatsoever I'll be here to give you the needed support uh, to keep moving. I remain kind on the tech pro and we see in the next nice part.